Hi friends, I am Rajesh. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to take two properties of an absolute value of a real number. Properties Properties of an absolute value Absolute value Absolute value of a real number or real numbers absolute value of real numbers clear today we will prove two important results the first result if c greater than or equal to 0 then modulus a less than or equal to c if and only if if and only if minus c less than or equals a less than or equals c this is the first result so after proving this result we will prove the second result ok here we have to prove modulus a less than or equals c if and only if minus c less than or equals a less than or equals c here we have to prove two implication the first implication Modulus a less than or equal to c implies minus c less than or equals a less than or equal to c. Then the converse part. Converse part. Conversely, we have to prove minus c less than or equals a less than or equal to c implies modulus a less than or equal to c. So first we assume modulus a less than or equal to c. Modulus a less than or equal to c. Modulus a less than or equal to c. So, what is modulus a? Absolute value of a. I already have taken this concept absolute value of a real number in my previous class. So, the link is there in my description box. So, absolute value of a equals a if a greater than 0 absolute value of a equals 0 if a equals 0, absolute value of a equals minus a if a less than 0. Clear. Okay. So here we can combine these two results. Then we write modulus a equals a if a greater than or equal 0. Because if a, a greater than 0, then modulus a equals a. If a equals 0, then modulus a equals 0. That is equal to a. So combining these two results, we have modulus a equals a if a greater than or equal to 0. Next, modulus a equals minus a if a less than 0. Okay. So we assume modulus a less than or equal to c. We want to prove minus c less than or equals a less than or equal to c. Okay. Here, our assumption modulus a less than or equal to c. What is modulus a? Modulus a equals a if a greater than or equal to 0. Modulus a equals minus a if a less than 0. Clear? So the values of modulus a are a and minus a. Therefore we have a less than or equal to c and minus a less than or equal to c. Clear? Modulus a equals a if a greater than or equal to 0. Modulus a equals minus a if a less than 0. Then if we assume modulus a less than or equal to c, then we can write a less than or equal to c and minus a less than or equal to c. Clear. Okay. Implies a less than or equal to c and multiplying by minus 1 on both sides of this inequality, then this becomes minus a becomes a and greater than or equal to This inequality will be reversed greater than or equals and c becomes minus c c becomes minus c clear and comparing these two results we have minus c less than or equals a minus c less than or equals a and a less than or equals c and a less than or equals c so this is the first implication that means if we assume modulus a less than or equals 0 then we have minus c less than or equals a less than or equals c Conversely assume minus c less than or equals 
a less than or equal to c, then we will prove modulus a less than or equal to c. Okay. So conversely, we assume the reverse implication. We assume minus c less than or equals a less than or equals c. Clear? Okay. So we take the first part in this inequality that means minus c less than or equals a and we take the second part of this inequality a less than or equals c. Clear? Once again, we multiply it by minus 1 on both sides of this inequality then minus c becomes c greater or equals a becomes minus a. Clear? And, and a less than or equals c. Here we get c greater or equals minus a. c greater or equals minus a or minus a less than or equals c. Minus a less than or equals c and, and a less than or equals c. Minus a less than or equals c and a less than or equals c. Clear? Here modulus of a equals a if a greater than or equals 0 and modulus of a equals minus a if a less than 0. That means the values of modulus a are a comma minus a. So here minus a less than or equal to c and a less than or equal to c then we can say modulus a less than or equal to c. This is the converse part of the theorem. Clear? So combining this two implication we have modulus a less than or equal to c if and only if or implies and implied by minus c less than or equals a less than or equals c. Clear? This is the first part of the theorem. First property. Next, we want to prove the second property. Second property. That means minus modulus a less than or equals a less than or equals modulus a modulus a for all for all a belongs to R this is the second property clear it is easy to prove proof here we use the first property that means if c greater than or equal to 0 then modulus a less than or equal to c modulus a less than or equal to c if and only if minus c less than or equals a less than or equal to c clear here we use modulus a less than or equal to c implies implies minus c less than or equals a less than or equal to c clear here we take c equals modulus a c equals modulus a in the previous result that means the first result c greater than or equal to 0 c is a positive sorry c is a non-negative real number so here we can type c equals modulus a modulus a is also a non-negative real number so here we type c equals modulus a so we can apply this theorem if modulus a less than or equal to c then we can write or then we can use minus c less than or equal to a less than or equal to c our assumption c equals modulus a c equals modulus a so we can apply this inequality once again if modulus a less than or equal to c then we have minus c less than or equal to a less than or equal to c here our assumption modulus a equals c then we can apply this inequality that means substitute to c equals modulus a in this inequality so this becomes this implies that means minus c minus c means minus modulus a minus modulus a less than or equals a less than or equals modulus a this is the result clear so here we apply the first property of absolute value of real number that is if c greater than or equals 0 then modulus a less than or equals c if and only if minus c less than or equals a less than or equals c so we assume c equals modulus a c equals modulus a then substitute c equals modulus a in this inequality so we have minus c means minus modulus a less than or equals a less than or equals c that means modulus a that means we have proved minus modulus a less than or equals a less than or equals modulus a for all a belongs to r 
clear. Okay. So I hope you have enjoyed my class. Thank you for watching my class. Thank you.